About three days to go until Biden's inauguration. Welcome to Biden's America. Let us in, Joe. Caravan of 1,000 Honduran migrants surges towards the U.S. border in the final days of the Trump administration and asks Biden to honor his commitments to asylum seekers when they arrive. The caravan was originally at least twice the size when it left Honduras early on Friday morning. It's not clear what the intended final destination of the caravan was, California, <coughs> or if they'll be able to make it there. Donald Trump demonized Central American caravans ahead of the 2018 midterm elections and put several policies in place to prevent them from crossing into the U.S., including migrant protection protocols. Joe Biden has promised to reverse many of Trump's immigration policies, including the MPP. My question is this before we get into this, and this is for you individuals that are more so on the left, because I know how individuals on the center right and the right would feel about this, center left, not so sure. Before we get into this and the joke about Biden's America, yeah, 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 you all voted for this. This is what you wanted. So he won, right? He won the election. Obviously, a majority of people, honk, honk, wanted this. So for those of you who want this, explain to me in the comments legitimately why you want this, why you want more individuals coming in. But you know what happens, competition for jobs, wages get driven down. And I say that with the understanding that both Democrats and Republicans in positions of power want this. Individuals at the street level like us may not. And some may. Obviously, they voted for Biden knowing they were going to get this. Politicians heads of corporations, they love this stuff. They don't care what we think about it. They don't care about depressed wages of American workers, workers who aren't going to be able to get jobs now. Oh, yeah, I know, I know. They're doing the jobs Americans won't do. But the question I have for you before we read a little bit of this is, wouldn't you think, for you supporting this, wouldn't you think if we allowed less immigration, less asylum, which... We know it's not really asylum they're seeking, it's money they're seeking. But if we allowed less of this, that this would create a situation where companies would have to pay employers better. People on the left always talk about $15 an hour minimum wage. Don't you think that having less competition for jobs would create a situation where wages would rise, where companies would be forced to pay Americans more? Or do you really not care about Americans? I mean, you're like, oh, I'm good, I, I'm getting mine. Do you just not care? Do you think that this is the answer, that it's better to help everyone else out before you help your fellow Americans out? I'm asking legitimately. I, I'd really like to know what some of you think out there about this, those of you on the left or those of you that cheer this kind of stuff. There's the group here. I wonder if it's going to grow now, now that it's official, it's looking like all the legal challenges are done, whether this group is going to somehow pick up steam again and 1,000 is going to turn into 2,000 that bum rush the border. Hmm. Looks like a nice place to go on a hike, doesn't it? The migrant protection protocols are another byproduct of the narrative surrounding the caravans. It required some migrants to remain in Mexico before they could have an immigration court hearing in America. Many of these policies are likely to be altered or reversed altogether by the incoming Biden administration, though. Biden has promised to create a clear roadmap to citizenship, listen to this, on his first day in office for 11 million living in the U.S. unlawfully. He also promised to find a way to permanently protect DACA, which Trump has tried to end through the courts. So like I said, you individuals voted for this. Individuals who voted for this guy. The majority went to Biden. He's going to be the president. You voted for this. So I get the, you know, we want to help the world thing, but I'm just hoping that you also understand that we can't help everybody and that we need to help our fellow Americans first. Hopefully you get that. And with that, though, comes with a lot of stuff I talk about in my other videos about not doling out foreign aid to countries that are our friends. Hundreds of millions of dollars of your tax money in pork that we see in every bill. Hundreds of millions, billions of dollars going overseas. That's American taxpayer money. So it makes you wonder what the agenda is for politicians on all sides of this. We'll see what the Republicans do in terms of pushing back on this. What can they do, I guess, right? But I wonder how we've remained so vibrant of a nation. 
with having our politicians selling us out for so long and having these systems in place that convince people that the best way to go about things is to keep bringing more and more people in. And that just depresses the quality of life for individuals who were actually born in America. Like I said, I hope that individuals get that, that all of you out there talking about $15 an hour, that you understand that if that stuff right there didn't happen, that companies would be forced to be paying better wages. Our priority is to reopen asylum processing at the border, consistent with the capacity to do so safely and to protect public health, especially in the context of the 19, Susan Rice said to Spanish Wire Service EFE. This effort will begin immediately, but it will take months to develop the capacity that we need to reopen fully. Which raises another interesting point that with so many individuals out of work and people struggling, businesses closing across the United States, let's integrate another 11 million people into that workforce competition for jobs. We've got more here, and then Biden says he's going to increase the cap of resettled refugees to 125,000 after Trump sent the number at a record low, 15,000 refugees this year. And that's the article right there. Let's look at the comments. I wonder what people are saying here. It looks like, well, there's only a few comments here. I have one word for this, no. <laughs> here we go, hello, $15 an hour minimum wage, goodbye jobs. I, that would have happened anyway, in some part, right? Because if you're forcing small businesses to pay these wages, yeah, Walmart, Amazon, they can afford it. But if you're forcing small business to pay those wages, a lot of them can't afford it. You know, one thing that's interesting I heard them talking about was the restaurant, the waitstaff profession. I guess I should say restaurant staff in general. I worked there for very few days as a high school kid, so I don't really know how all of that works. Individuals who are getting tips as a large part of their salary or their overall compensation package. Ooh, so fancy, right? Compensation package. But that they maybe, if the tip system's done away with, would end up seeing less in their paycheck. If they're getting a flat $15 an hour, for instance, and tipping isn't offered. Side note real quick, there was one restaurant, it's a nice burger place, it's pretty good, it's in Newport Beach in California. They stopped doing table service. So before they used to have individuals who would come to the table, take your order, they started having everybody order at the front, right, when you walk in. I was thinking, I'm sitting there thinking like, well, that's a large part of how individuals get tips is the service, right? They bring you another water when you want water, or they bring you more condiments for your french fries or whatever it is. When you just go and order at the front with somebody, why would you leave a tip? You just sit there and you wait, and there's really little interaction that happens after that. You build a rapport, have some laughs with your server, you know, they bring you things if you need it, and then, boom, you hook them up with a nice tip, right, that's commensurate with that. Once the check comes, boom, write the tip. But you're paying up front. How are you supposed to know what kind of tip you want to give somebody if you're paying up front? It kind of seemingly defeats the purpose of the tip system, but maybe that restaurant went to the $15 an hour flat. Maybe. They not all being let in. They need to face facts. <laughs> I think that Tangerine Dreams is a little too... Uh, individuals in the UK. I think that individual doesn't really understand how Joe Biden works and how the companies that lined his pockets with all the donations contributed to his funds to help get him elected, what they want. That could be on both sides, like I said. Republicans and Democratic politicians, or heads of companies, I should say more so, want this. They don't care about the American worker. They care about the bottom line. Come on, Joe. America needs you. What do you say, Joe? Well, what do you think Joe's going to say? He's going to say, Hunter, hop on another flight to China and see what you can work out. That's what Joe's going to say. Companies selling Americans down the river, it's been going on for the longest time. Both sides of the aisle, heads of companies. So don't think I'm calling anyone in particular out. I'm calling everyone out. And that's my frustration with our political process and the companies that we have here in the U.S. But all right, everybody, let me know what you think. I'll bring them on, I guess, another 1,000 here, another 11 million there. Who needs a job, right? No, you know what? It just hit me. The UBI that they talk about, here's what it is. That's the secret plan. The UBI they're talking about, it's only going to be for born American citizens. Maybe individuals who have naturalized as well, but... What we're going to do is we're all going to get UBI, but then we're going to keep importing more and more labor 
and they're going to do the work. So they're going to do all those jobs where we just get to sit back and collect a thousand or two thousand bucks a month. The master plan, everybody. <laughs> all right, everybody. Take care. Be well. America being sold out as always. What do we do? Keep fighting, right?